New tonight, luxury cars, million dollar homes and cash hidden in the Middle East. A Mesa couple is now headed to jail for COVID relief fraud. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Cuddy the Divine. I'm Mark Curtis. The feds have been cracking down on fraudsters who illegally obtained an estimate, estimated billions of dollars in loans from the Paycheck Protection Program. Team Charles Bram Resnick has the details on a couple who went on an international spending spree with your tax dollars. Bram? Yeah, Jason and Kimberly Coleman had no employees, no real businesses, but they kept applying for PPP loans and they got them. The Paycheck Protection Program was supposed to protect businesses and workers from the pandemic. But PPP loans also line the pockets of countless crooks with your tax dollars. What didn't happen was even minimal checks to make sure that the money was getting to the right people at the right time. A Mesa couple, Jason and Kimberly Coleman, have been convicted of going on an international spending spree with paychecks for phony workers. According to prosecutors, the couple filed bogus IRS forms. None of their more than 600 employees at 11 companies existed, yet their bank's okayed loans were $13 million. Prosecutors documented that millions of those PPP tax dollars were laundered in dozens of transactions. The couple put down $7 million cash for two palatial homes in Mesa. They had two residences on the beach in Rocky Point. They paid six figures for their cars, a Bentley Bentayga, a Rolls-Royce SUV, a top-of-the-line Cadillac Escalade, and more. And they stashed $1 million with a global investment firm's office in the Middle Eastern Emirate of Dubai. Jason Coleman was sentenced to five years in prison. Kimberly Coleman will be behind bars for 10 years. So how could this happen? Investigators are pointing fingers at the gatekeepers who handled the loans and profited from them. One of the banks that worked with the Colemans is being investigated by the feds. Let's send it back to you. Bram, thanks.